He was tied up and executed. A mother is filled with frustration and sadness after a mistrial in her son's murder case. Julian Pottas spoke to her about what's being done now. 32 year old Antonio Armillo was murdered execution style a week before his birthday on December 16th, 2020. His mother, Sally Sanchez, still can't forget that day. He didn't deserve that. You know, um, you're going to go in and rob somebody, take what they have, but there was no need for them to do what they did to him. Those two people on trial for the murder, Charles Robinson and Walter Eddings. When the trial came upon us, there was no no hiding it anymore. Sanchez says she experienced heartbreak syndrome, describing it as if she was having a stroke and even more as a mistrial was called in her son's case. There was 12, 15 jurors that were there to hold these people accountable and it didn't happen. Now Sanchez is left saddened, still demanding justice, left only with these reminders, photos of memories and an emotional support bear, which contains the last known voicemails from Antonio. I'll call you tomorrow morning before you go to work, okay? Regardless of the challenges she has been faced with up to this point, she says she will continue to fight. I know that my son is my guardian angel and he's guiding me. He's guiding me through all of this. Sanchez is working to bring the case back in November. For the time being, she's trying to stay focused on knowing there is more work to be done. For KOAT Action 7 News, I'm Julian Paras. After her son's murder, Sanchez went on to co-found the New Mexico Crusaders for Justice, a group which advocates for families who've lost loved ones to gun-related violence.